All right, let's get to this news because Michael Gelkin covers the Dallas Cowboys for Dallas Morning News. Um, he noted in a column recently that a a potential situation could be looming for the Cowboys. Um, and a CD Lamb holdout potentially could be looming. Now, the Cowboys were to start their spring workout program April 15th, barring a contract extension um, when complete. Uh, which is ex- expected for C.D. Lamb. Everybody's expecting him to get a contract extension and be the highest paid receiver in NFL history, which, like I said, I, I believe it's going to put him above the $30 because I think Tyreek Hill is close to $30 million a year. I got to go check that out. Um, but he says Lamb won't take the field unless – it's expected he won't take the field for the uh, April 15th spring workouts for the Cowboys unless that extension is done. Um, Lamb's agent, Tori Dandy, did not respond to a request for comment on whether Lamb will accompany teammates at Ford Center at the start for the Cowboys spring workouts. But of course, Dandy and Lamb are aware attendance is voluntary for the bulk of spring. Um, he, uh, the Cowboys know that. It says here um, that in this piece for Michael Gelkin, everybody goes about it. Stephen Jones said, everybody goes about it a different way. Um, we've had guys who have been around. Um, Ezekiel Elliott was never around when he was waiting for a contract. So we've dealt with both. We respect, uh, he said, we respect Zeke, but you prefer that they're around uh, when they're under contract. It's part of the business. You don't love it, but it's part of the business. Um, So basically that was for the, that's the way they handled the Zeke situation. And he's basically saying if they treat it the same way they treat it, Zeke, if they treat CD Lamb the same way, it won't be a big deal for the Dallas Cowboys. But it could be a statement by CD Lamb just early on that, hey, man, you know what? Until I get this deal done, I'm not going to be around. Now, <clears throat> CD Lamb was spotted at a celebrity basketball game recently. Um, TMZ had this story, actually. And it's a little awesome audio there, but he basically was asked if he's going to be in Dallas. He said, I'll be in Dallas. He did not say anything about whether he would be there for the spring workouts. Didn't say anything about whether he would be holding out. He just said, I'll be, yeah, I'll be in Dallas. Those were his words. Yep. Yeah. I'll be in Dallas. Um, He didn't specify what, so he will be in Dallas. I'm not, I don't, think that there's any doubt that he'll be a Dallas Cowboy in the future. Now, if the Cowboys decide to move on from Dak Prescott and, you know, move on from him and then blow this whole thing up, then I think there's a chance even if they sign CD, maybe they sign and trade CD. Um, and maybe, you know, Michael Parsons, is the same thing. But right now, I think the assumption is CD Lamb will be a Dallas Cowboy going forward. Uh, it's just about how much the Cowboys are going to pay him. And the Cowboys right now, there have been crickets. Remember I said it's very interesting that we haven't heard a lot about CeeDee Lamb's contract extension. Um, we know Michael Parsons, is they picking up the fifth-year option with him. So maybe that's their plan going forward. But very interesting that we haven't heard anything about that. And maybe that is tied to Dak Prescott also playing out the last year on his contract this year potentially. And if that is the case, maybe the Cowboys' version, as we've talked about, of all in is – everybody's on the contract year, which would be oh, general manager malpractice to say the least, because those, if those guys go in to next year and have another career year, whether it be statistically or whether it be in terms of them making a a play, a deep playoff run, then you got to pay everybody the highest dollar figure and the highest value figure for in the market. And they would have the free agency, the free agent market to negotiate with as well to push up, there to push their value and to push the price up that right now you're trying to get guys at a value and that right now the cowboys are playing with fire if they don't re-sign one of these big three guys Dak or extend one of these big three Dak, cd or micah yeah and they've shown in the past they don't necessarily love paying wide receivers market value they don't they don't ever believe a wide receiver is worth as much as that is that's why they didn't like when they didn't want to pay amari cooper they never wanted to pay des bryant that was always a deal and I think, you know, as we talked about this a little bit with the Micah Parsons stuff, you know, throwing out that Zeke didn't show up either, I think is a little bit of Stephen Jones trying to tell fans, look, you saw what happened with Zeke. He didn't want to show up. And then, you know, his production went down and we had to cut him and he took all this money and really hamstrung our team. That's what CD's trying to do to you guys, too. Yeah, I think I there's that. I think there's a little You're bit right. of him trying to win public uh, public discourse of. 
that he's saying that this is a look, we saw what happened. You saw what happened with Zeke. You saw, but unfortunately, the CD Lamb, he just wants to get paid. So he's probably not even showing up because he wants he so desperately wants that money. <laughs> you go, of course he does. He's earned it. Of course he does. He's, he's earned it. I was saying exactly. He's, he's an all pro this a, year. He had an amazing year uh as a wide receiver. So I, I get I, I see why Steven Jones is doing that, but yeah, I think it I think throwing Zeke's name in there was much more of a trying to show what could be done, what what could happen if if uh, if a player does you know holds out and it doesn't produce, is that eventually yeah. you have to get cut. Uh yeah, when you're out when you're underperforming um your contract like that, I agree. And the highest paid receiver is Tyree Q. He's making thirty mil a year. So that's what CD's gonna get. And then you gotta so you gotta you gotta have the highest paid receiver in NFL history, highest paid defensive player in NFL history, and Dak is gonna be at least in the top three highest paid quarterbacks, right? Once he signs his extension. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Well, that's and a then lot of bread. That's a lot of bread. And that's talking about do you space it out where you put more on the back end, which makes it almost impossible to then trade a CD Lamb because he's got so much guaranteed money on a back end of a contract because you don't want it, your salary cap is already situation is kind of screwed up with all your dead money and everything that's going into the next couple of years. So how do you do you backload it? But then no one wants to take on a $45 million wide receiver in three years. See if you're trying to trade him. So it makes him untradeable. If you're going to blow up your team or do you, you know, I, I just don't know if you're, if you're really thinking we may blow it up, this contract negotiation becomes extremely difficult because you don't know how much money you're going to have to spend in the next year versus the years down the road. No, I'm with you. I just uh, – it's – for the Cowboys, it's a tough situation to be in that all these contracts right now are due. And the, all these it, – it's – like I said, all these guys are performing really well. They're all pros. Yeah. They're be, Dak's best season ever. You got Micah Parsons, who's an all-pro. You got CeeDee Lamb, who's an all-pro. But you got to pay these guys. And I think the Cowboys are uncertain about what they want to do um, in terms of the – the, the championship window, how they want to extend it, if they want to extend it, if they want to blow it up and start again. I don't know if they're certain. And based on the, the status of the head coach, the defensive coordinator, C.D. Lamb, and Michael Parsons, Dak Prescott, everybody's essentially is on a one-year deal right now. Right now. That could change tomorrow. Yeah. But right now, everybody's lame duck. Everybody's on a one-year deal. That's wild. That's just a crazy situation to be in. You think going forward, you'd be like, you know, as an organization, all right, we want to sign our foundational pieces whether it be the quarterback or whether it be your best defensive player cowboys aren't going that route right now it's, it's just a the most peculiar offseason i think i can remember for the cowboys in a really long time um 